Have you ever worked with a boss you disliked? A lot of us can relate to bad bosses. We don't see eye to eye. We feel overworked and underappreciated. Why do you think The Office is so popular? A lot of people can relate, in some ways, to a Michael Scott in their office. But here's the question. Do you know how to be a great leader? Strong leaders are able to attract talented people and find ways to challenge them. They are able to bring people to their highest potential, making space for continuous learning and stretching their boundaries. They are open and allow transparent discussion to share ideas and also invest in the success of others. Effective leaders get the most out of the team by multiplying their talents. In her book Multipliers, Liz Wiseman discusses qualities that are commonly found in strong leaders. She calls these leaders multipliers because the leaders bring out the genius of their team to accomplish more than their separate parts. In contrast, a diminishing leader is someone who decreases the productivity and well-being of their team. Here are five key disciplines for you to become a multiplier. Become a talent magnet. Multipliers have the ability to attract individuals and put them in situations to succeed. The leaders build a reputation of treating their people well and allowing space for them to grow and be successful. When you lead by investing in others and giving them the best opportunity they have to succeed and grow, these individuals will turn from great team members to exceptional. Over time, you will gain the reputation of fostering a place where people grow, attracting further talent. From there on, the cycle continues to repeat. This is in contrast to the empire builder. The empire builder. On the other hand, a diminisher's mindset is focused on building a large empire for themselves. They tend to think in terms of efficiency and think that intelligence is rare and finite. Thus, they slot people into positions that they deem they are best at. But the people are not challenged or grow, and that is detrimental to their careers. The same cyclical effect can be seen in an empire builder, where people will learn over time. This is a place where people's careers die. Make sure you treat your team's needs first, providing their careers a place to flourish instead of wither. Become a liberator. Liberators love collaboration so that ideas can be shared freely. Whether you are an experienced veteran with 20 years under your belt or a fresh grad, each person has their own best ideas that can be shared with the group. To bring the best thinking out of their team, liberators create an open space, sit back and listen. A common problem in teams is an underlying fear of failure. People can veer on the side of stability and deter fresh and out-of-the-box ideas from being even brought up. Liberators can admit their own mistakes and make the team understand that mistakes are part of the process but at the same time demand high expectations so your team will resolve any issues and put their best foot forward. The Tyrant Contrary to liberators, tyrants create a tense environment that closes people off and suppresses their thinking and capability. With harsh opinions, like my way or the highway attitudes, their team is often scared to speak up or just let the tyrant make decisions because the effort to challenge them are not worth it. With this leadership style, people are stunted in growth and choose the path of least resistance, following the diminisher's orders. Tyrant leaders may not always know that they have a diminisher's mindset. People with naturally strong personalities that voice their opinions may become an accidental diminisher. Remember to keep opinions soft and allow input from the whole team to cultivate a safe environment for everyone to have their ideas shared. Become a challenger. Multipliers challenge their teams and nudge them to grow and stretch over time. They understand that intelligence is fluid and continuous learning is a part of life. To become a challenger, you should provide clear opportunities for your team to take on. Ask hard questions, challenge assumptions laid out by your team. Although you may have some answers, remember not to handhold and allow them space to solve it themselves. This can foster a motivating and more fulfilling environment where teams are frequently growing, challenged, 
and taking on impactful responsibilities. The know-it-all. A know-it-all usually gives directions to their team on a day-to-day -day task. Leaders with extensive technical background can become an accidental diminisher when they give out orders and tasks for the team instead of letting the team solve their own challenges. If you are a know-it-all, the team is more likely to be more and more dependent on you since you're always there to save the day. The teams are not allowed to stretch and resolve problems on their own. Do not be a superhero. If people are given orders instead of challenging problems to solve, people can get bored and unmotivated, inevitably leaving for other opportunities. Become the debate maker. Healthy debate is very important in planning and decision making. Whether you are a seasoned veteran with decades of experience or a fresh graduate, everyone brings a different perspective. Multipliers provide a safe, transparent environment for people to share ideas and drive the best decisions for the team. They encourage others to speak up in order to spark a healthy debate. The decision maker. A diminisher values the select groups of people's opinions strongly and has a small inner circle. Within that room, they come up with decisions efficiently and tell the broader team and company to execute on their choices. With this method, the decisions may be sound, but the process is opaque to others and can cause confusion in the people that are in the dark. If you are not part of the discussions and don't understand how the decision was made, you can lose some confidence in your leadership. Become the investor. Investors invite others to take ownership of their projects and become accountable. In this way, team members become engaged and take up initiatives and improvements on their own. They have a sense of inclusion and ownership of their work. You can become a multiplier by investing in your team's success and giving them all the necessary resources and space to grow. The micromanager. Diminishers tend to become micromanagers because they don't trust their team. Sometimes leaders can be unwittingly diminishers by jumping in too quickly when they see their team fail. Without the experience of handling fires by themselves, the team can become reliant on you and not grow to take ownership. Diminishers are heavily involved in the day-to-day, -day, managing and directing people. Have you recently been put into a leadership role? It is hard to switch mindsets from doing the work yourself versus becoming a leader for other people. It is a whole different skill set. In Multipliers, Liz Wiseman identifies five disciplines that you can incorporate into your life to become a multiplier, a leader that cultivates growth and success for the team. Remember these five disciplines in your everyday life. Become a talent magnet. Allow people to grow and succeed. Become a liberator. Create an environment where people offer their best thinking and effort. Become a challenger. Define opportunities so people can push their boundaries. Become the debate maker. Cultivate an open environment for discussion. And become the investor. Give ownership to your team and invest in their success.